make excuses for people and focus on your own life. Allow other people to focus on your on their own life, just as you're focusing on, on your own life. Stop looking. Why we are more of producers than consumers, you realize that negative emotions will naturally die in your heart. Hi, hi, hi. My name is Uluwato Selaji Makiaro Dudu, OA for shirts, and this is the live break to accelerate challenge. I'm very excited because the days are going by the day, and I know that as you're watching, you have been blessed. I know that you are beginning to take um, responsibility, and you're beginning to, you know, practice some of the strategies, some of the spiritual um, strategies that has been, um, you know, preferred in the past videos, and I believe that you will see results in your life. Before this February comes to an end, and all through this year, in the name of Jesus, I know without um, without a reasonable doubt that you would enjoy quantum leap in every aspect of your life in this year, 2024, in Jesus' name. So once again, welcome on board, wherever you're watching from, whatever time you get to see this video, I know that there is a purpose for which you get to see this video on YouTube. So welcome on board. Now, let me do a brief introduction. My name is Oluwato Sanlaji Mokiarudu, OOA for short. I'm an identity and a visionary coach, and some of the things I love to talk about are self-discovery, identity, visionary living, and leadership. Coupled with, you know, sharing Bible, you know, uh, sharing the scriptures and applying it to our daily living so that we can follow the principles of God as children of God. So you are welcome to my school, Oh, School of Identity and Visionary Living. It's a place of transformation, divine transformation, a place of elevation, a place of discovery. A lot of things are going to be revealed to you if you follow this channel um, diligently and you follow it bumper to bumper. So today is the sixth of the Librate to Accelerate Challenge. And we are going to be talking about procrastination procrastination that's what we're going to be talking about today and it's something that has plagued each and every one of us at any part at every particular at some point in our lives and some people are still presently suffering from procrastination even as they're watching this video but it's something that we have to liberate ourselves from if you really want to do anything great in life you want to move at the nick of time you need to ditch procrastination there are some blessings that are strategic there are some things that you need to achieve at strategic times. There are some blessings that God releases, and it is only the strategic that can be a particular. So one of the things that the devil does is to introduce procrastination into our lives in order for us to continue to miss blessings over and over again. And what happens when you continually miss strategic seasons as a result of your own delay? Your life begins to depreciate. Our life will not depreciate in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. For our lives not to depreciate, that is why I'm taking this topic, procrastination, on the day six. Of the library to accelerate challenge so what does it mean in the general sense it involves delaying or postponing tasks or responsibilities when you delay and postpone tasks or responsibilities you tell yourself i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it another time before you know it you have just a little time to complete that task and by the time you use that little time there is no result or the task becomes something like a wishy-washy affair because you, you don't have the ample time to focus on it and sometimes we lose things when we delay the things that they were supposed to do, we delay it to the last minute, then we annoy a particular, we lose um, the purpose of that particular thing. It could be a job. Maybe you have to apply for a job and they say it's five, in five days' time, the application will close. And you delay, delay, delay on the three, three hours' time. And when it's three hours' time, you put in your application, the application cannot be submitted. Because why? The devil is very strategic. He uses procrastination to delay destinies. And he will wait for you to that time when you think you have the energy to move and everything will go wrong. That is why we must not procrastinate and we must fight against procrastination and you know oftentimes people procrastinate on things that need to be done as a result of immediate gratification sometimes we procrastinate because we want immediate gratification and when something looks as if it's not going to generate immediate results we begin to push it forward we push it forward because you know today in these times and seasons that we're in right now in the world there is a form of hustling spirit in the atmosphere so if something looks as if it's not going to produce immediate gratitude, uh, gratification for you, there is a tendency, if you're not disciplined and you've not taught yourself how to delay gratification, there is a tendency 
that you probably push it aside or procrastinate till the last minute. Procrastination can also be caused by depression. This is the most difficult and technical aspect of procrastination. Some of the people who are dealing with procrastination are dealing with a heavy dose of depression. And you know, when you're depressed, the bone rots. When you're depressed, your bones are not agile to even move in alacrity. And that's one of the things that depression does to us. You know, it pushes us to procrastinate on things that we're supposed to do at the nick of time. Also, people are also depressed because they're overburdened and stressed. And this can also lead to procrastination. When you're thinking of different burdens on you, different things that you have to contend with, different responsibilities, before you know it, you abandon the most important aspect of your life. These are the ways that procrastination creeps in on us. And that is why we are here to liberate ourselves. Also, when you are depressed, you ten, you, there's a tendency that you put yourself last. And that is why you must get to a point in our lives, as much as we are serving other people, we must also put ourselves first. Because if you don't consistently refill your cup, then you cannot, you, 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 you will be dry and empty. So you must consistently look out for yourself in order for you to be able to take care of the people and the things that God has committed into your hands. And you know, depression is so bad. One of the things that it does is that it heats up our productivity and time. When you are depressed, you are not productive. When you are depressed, it, it, it eats up your time. It leads you to procrastination. These things are interconnected. And that is why we have to be liberated in order for us to accelerate. When you are in the bondage of all these things like procrastination, depression, they are all interwoven. And that is why they say that when um, a demon is removed from somebody's life, let's say some of these negative emotion, emotions and energy are pushed out of your life and you are not intentional in able to, you know, be disciplined, and not to give room for that, those negative emotions to come back to your life. Then they will go and bring out seven more. Just like when the, devil, the demon is removed from the life of someone, the place is swept clean, swept clean, and it's not, there's no activity going on there. It will go and bring seven more demons. And that is how these emotions are. They are interwoven. Give one a room or one is in your life, and you're not rooting it out by being deliberate, prayerful, and intentional seeking for therapy. Be rest assured that it will bring, bring about a host of other negative emotions to dwell in your heart and that is why we are having this um this liberation to accelerate challenge in order for us to be liberated so that we can accelerate then sometimes people procrastinate as a result of laziness we have to be factual and talk about this laziness is simply the reason why some people procrastinate they can't be bothered they can't be bothered they are very lazy and they just they don't move when they're supposed to move they're laid back about their own life and before you know it your life begins to depreciate so the person, your life will not depreciate in Jesus' name. That person's life begins to depreciate till they begin to wither and dry off. This is what happens when you're lazy and you allow procrastination to take over you. God forbid we will not dry up in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 24 verse 3 says that a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands and poverty will come upon you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. May this not be our portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Of course, I believe in resting i believe in taking good care of ourselves i believe in soft life but i also believe in discipline diligence i believe in being proactive i believe in being you know moving in alacrity doing the things that you're supposed to do at the times that you're supposed to do them these are the ways that we can become liberated and also able to accelerate in diverse areas of our life so we must take cognizance of this point and sometimes we are heavily distracted we live in a world that is full of distraction the social media is there. Different news are filtering into our media space every day. <laughs> if you're on the social media, you're active. You need to be intentional. You don't have to be in everybody's business on the social media. You don't have to read everything that pops up on your timeline. You need to take control of your timeline. Some of these things are deliberately targeted at us. If there is a place whereby the greatest arrows are being thrown nowadays, it's on the social space. If you if maybe there are some things that you need to attend to, you go online. Let me just look at what's going on. Before you know it, you spend three hours. Sometimes you might be going through some negative emotions or you're depressed or going through some downtimes. You go online, you see things that will further depress you. So that's where the greatest arrow has been thrown nowadays. So you need to be deliberate and intentional on how you manage your media space. And sometimes our gadgets can also be a form of distraction. Of course, that's where we assess all the media. So there are times that you need to shut down your gadget and just focus on other things. Read a book. Read a book, watch a movie that can liberate you. There are a lot of movies that are inspirational. Listen to messages that can bless your life. Just shut down on that phone and on that tablet and, and whatever it is, iPad. Put them aside and focus on things that can give you development in every area of your life. So, you know, we have to be careful so that we don't abandon our lives and, you know, 
feeding distractions. We have to liberate ourselves from the distractions that are deliberately targeted at us. So also, procrastination is the fear of failure. Your brain is trying to protect you from failing. So you rather not do. Instead of do, instead of move, you rather remain stagnated. It is better to fail than to not do. Because if you don't do, if you don't execute, you will not know what you're capable of doing. And you will not know the areas that you're supposed to, you know, advance in. So it is very important that we execute so that we can know our capability. Don't let procrastination stop you from becoming the best version of yourself. Um, yeah. So how do we deal with procrastination? This is very important. How do we? I'm going to be sharing five points on how we can deal with procrastination. Acknowledge that something is wrong and just surrender to God. Sometimes we can't help ourselves. Sometimes procrastination can become a strong goal. It can become a strong goal that becomes something that will steal from you. It will become a canker one. And they will just begin to dig into the, the resources of your life. You know, that's what procrastination does. So you need to surrender and ask God to help you. And, you know, it's so bad that procrastination can make you see a vision where you want to be. And you're not able to take the necessary step to get to that place. And that's how the person will just remain on that spot and delay a lot will take over their life. So you need to ask God, surrender to him and tell him to help you so that you can come out of that rut and begin to move according to time. Time is of essence. Destiny is time. Destiny is tied to time. So don't allow procrastination to eat up your destiny by wasting your time. Then ask God to give you the wisdom not to wrestle against time. Some of us are fighting against time. The strongholds, the battles that are fighting us are using time against us. So you consistently see yourself fighting against time. There's something you need to do in an hour time, then you are wrestling. That is the time that you know that you need to go and do some other things. Oh, I will do it in the next 20 minutes. Before you know it, that time has passed and you have missed that blessings. Like I said earlier, some blessings are connected to time. God, God, it, it happens like that. Strategic time, God is a God of all that. So if you don't take action at those particular times and seasons, you will miss those blessings. And sometimes it can take you <laughs> years before you can get those kind of opportunities again. So we must be deliberate and take cognizance of our time in order to deal with procrastination. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes verse 8, um, chapter 8, verse 6, it says that there is a proper time and procedure for every matter. You need to understand this. There is a proper time and procedure for it. So if you miss, if you are the time that is resting against time, kneel down and ask God to help you. Not to wrestle against time anymore because destiny is connected to time. There is a proper time and procedure for every matter. Then train your mind to stop majoring on the minor. We live in a world whereby we major on the minor. A lot of things around us that can take our attention away from the things that are important to us and we are majoring on the minor. Stop majoring on strife. Stop majoring on, on, on misunderstandings. Stop majoring on the things that the devil is, you know, putting in your mind in order to derail and depress you. Think of good things. Think, think of things that are pure. Make excuses for people and focus on your own life. Allow other people to focus on your on their own life just as you're focusing on, on your own life. Stop looking. Why we are more of producers than consumers? You realize that negative emotions will naturally die in your hearts. You won't even be able to procrastinate because you have already you have a list of the things that you need to achieve at specific seasons. Because the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 8, chapter 8, verse 6, that there is the time and procedure for everything. So you have a list. In the first quarter, these are the things I need to do. God help me. You know, we put everything in God's hands. Then you walk towards those things. If you're not able to achieve all of them, you give yourself grace. Then you say, that, okay, I'll push it to the next quarter. And you try and try and you do the things that you need to do. That is how to structure your life. So focus your mind to stop majoring on the minor and focus on the things that are most important to you. Also, those who walk their land, we have abundant food. But those who chase fantasies, we have their feel of poverty. So it, we must be very careful. Make sure that you focus on your land. Focus on the things that matters to you. Walk your land and till it diligently rather than focusing on what other people are doing. Then, number five. Ask someone who really cares about you to, to be accountable to them. Emphasis on really cares about you. Don't go and meet someone that does not really care about you. They won't have your time. So look for a mentor or a coach that cares about you, that can hold you up to standard and that can support you spiritually because sometimes procrastination is not all about us. Sometimes it's an attack. Is a stronghold. People who are woke won't believe this, but I know what I'm telling you. Sometimes it's an attack is a stronghold to make you walk against time. So you need to get someone who understands these things, who can also support you spiritually, who can pray with you, can support you, who can uphold you and can lift your spirit so that you can come out of that stronghold. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will finally end with the fact that you need accountability. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 12, 15, that 
Only fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. So get accountability, somebody who can support you and listen to them. When it feels as if they are being firm with you, don't worry, listen to them. They're looking out for your good. As long as you've been able to ascertain the fact that they care about you and they want you to succeed, then follow whatever procedure that they lay down before you and work with them. And you will realize that you will find results and you will come out of that entrapment and be liberated in the mighty name of Jesus. And one of the things that you need to be aware of is that procrastination takes away our joy and it increases our anxiety. And when you are always anxious, you can't do great things. When you are anxious, you can't walk in authenticity when you're anxious so that's what that's what, those are one of the things that procrastination does when you realize that you have failed yet again you didn't meet up yet again because of time then you get depressed over and over again may you be liberated may you receive the empowerment to kick like procrastination out of your life so that you can begin to show up and show out and you can accelerate in diverse areas of your life in the mighty matchless name of jesus i hope you have been blessed by today's session day six Please, I await your comments, your feedback, share with your friends, and let them also be a partaker. It's our season of quantum leaps, our season of vibration to acceleration. Beautiful and wonderful things will happen in our lives and in the lives of everyone connected to us this year in the name of the Lord Jesus. Once again, my name is Luwato Salaji Mokiarududu, and this is the OOA School of Identity and Visionary Living. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are lots of wonderful and transformational resources that will be coming up on this channel this year you don't want to miss it and you must be a partaker because this year we are all going to shine in diverse areas of our lives so until you see me tomorrow god bless you share with your friends on whatsapp on facebook let them know that something is happening here and this month we are breaking out of every entrapment in order for us to be to accelerate in our lives in jesus name take good care of yourself bye